my name is Jennifer Moss. On behalf of Groundswell, I am here today to talk about how you can help protect your water. Did you know that you live in a watershed? I bet you can name the city, the county, and the state where you live. But can you name your watershed? And what is a watershed anyway? A watershed is an area of land surrounded by hills and ridges in which all the water that falls in that area drains to a common outlet. It's like your shower when all the water flows into the drain. This is the lower Grand River watershed in West Michigan. When it rains on the land anywhere in this watershed, the water flows downhill until it enters the nearest lake, stream, or river. The smaller streams then join the larger rivers. In West Michigan, these rivers carry all the water to Lake Michigan, and eventually the water ends up in the ocean. This journey is part of what we call the water cycle. In this cycle, water on the surface of the earth evaporates. This moisture is carried through the air and forms clouds. When the clouds can't hold any more water, it rains. This rain falls to the ground and starts the journey all over again. What happens to the water as it makes this journey? Under natural conditions, when it rains, that rainwater soaks into the ground and eventually goes through the soil and becomes our groundwater, then at some points is discharged back into our streams. But when development happens and we have more and more hard surfaces, that rainwater can't soak in, and so it runs right over these hard surfaces, sometimes uh, increasing in temperature, uh, picking up pollutants, oil, gas, sediments, and soil, and it can run right into our waterways. Did your car drip oil or did your dog recently poop on your lawn? Rainwater will wash off and carry away the oil, dog poop, and other pollutants. This might make your driveway and lawn look cleaner, but where do all those pollutants go? In most communities, stormwater is managed by letting the rainwater run to the storm drains or catch basins. After the stormwater enters the storm drain, it connects to a system of pipes that we call our storm sewer, and those pipes typically lead to a local water body. As we learned earlier, in West Michigan, these streams and rivers all flow to Lake Michigan. And we use Lake Michigan for drinking water, swimming, fishing, and other activities we all enjoy. So that oil from your driveway and poop from your lawn could end up in the lake, even though you might live 30 or even 50 miles away. Pollution from homes throughout the watershed contribute pollution to Lake Michigan. This is a very large area of land, and pollution comes from nearly everywhere in it. There's actually two types of pollution that we talk about in water resources. One is point source pollution, and one is non-point source pollution. Point source pollution is when uh, a discharge is coming right out of a pipe, and you can point to that pipe and say the pollution is coming from right there. People have worked hard to clean up point source pollution, and today it doesn't cause many problems. But we still have a lot of work to do to clean up non-point source pollution. It is one of the biggest threats to keeping our water clean. Non-point source is pollution that you can't really find a source to it, and so you can't really point to it and say it's coming from right there. We talked about non-point source pollution from cities, but it also comes from suburbs, rural communities, and farms. It comes from all over. Again, that's why we call it non-point source pollution. The main pollutants found in stormwater are sediments or soils, nutrients which come from either farm fields, budding manures and such, or from fertilizing your lawns, and pathogens which are bacteria and other organisms that can make people sick. It's really hard to manage these non-point source pollutants because they come from everywhere. They come from farms, they come from people's driveways and houses, they come from parking lots, they come from streets, and there's just so much. The best we can do is try to educate people to know. One of the best things you can do is help teach people about the problem. Tell them that soil and plants naturally clean water. Explain that having replaced natural vegetation with roofs and pavement increased the amount of pollution in our water. Teach them that non-point source pollution is one of the biggest threats to healthy rivers and lakes. Let them know their actions will make a difference even if they live far from a lake or river. Non-point source pollution is a tough problem to solve because it's happening everywhere. But that's why we need to come together. 
we need a groundswell to change communities living in our shared watershed. Together, we can help keep our water clean. This video was made possible through support from the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, Grand Valley State University College of Education, and WGVU Public Media.